Hey guys, welcome to another video for SimonsVideo.com and my name is Simon Tay and today I'm going to do another Let's Play Clash of Clans episode 24 and today I'm going to use a different strategy which is using Hot Riders and um, Dragons specifically only these two troops um, and no other troops so let's take a look at what do I have in my army camp is um, 24 uh, level 2 hot riders it's not very high level uh, so I might even lose and there's a four dragons so the objective now is to get rid of the air defense uh, as much as possible or find uh, villagers with very low level of uh, air defense to attack so what do I have in my clan castle about five uh, level 5 archers and uh, 5 wizards which I think does not make any uh, any kind of uh, support unit other than you know taking care of some resource on the outside of the base so let's uh, give it a try and see whether I will be able to win or not now at the 1634 trophies uh, personally I do not care about trophies so I, I only care about resource <laughs> this is a very interesting base with uh, you know the, the air defense on the second layer of the base and uh, probably it will be very easy for me to get rid of so 24 I need to get rid of uh, 8 of them let me see if I can drop in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and maybe a healing spells over here with an additional hot riders and a lightning spells for the reinforcement killing okay here the air defense has been taken down i need to uh, support fire over here and a little bit of barbarian king hot riders okay so basically the air defense is not totally taken out so it will be a uh, probably half a disaster <laughs> yep it is a half a disaster now that the hopefully the air defense will not take out take out my four dragons okay here goes uh hopefully the dragon will take out some of the resource before the air defense take out my dragons Okay, so while my dragon is going down, no, at least, oh man, ah, uh, so left with one single dragon. This is a failure, but at least my barbarian king is going strong. No, one wow, of the dragon is still going strong at the bottom. But not for long with the air defense going berserk on my dragons my barbarian king is still hacking away from the top side yes it's in but i'm not sure for how long okay dragon kill some storage kill some storage kill some storage Arrgh, no okay bk is uh hacking away on the gold storage Ah, oh, so close. <laughs> and one wizard is still struggling to beat up this uh, clan castle and stun. 207,000 gold and 216,000 elixir. 1,781 dark elixir. That is one key thing is dark elixir. So, um, 24 uh, hot riders is using a lot of uh, dark elixir. So, so at least I get some back this is cool <laughs> i'm gonna try again using this same strategy and see whether if i can get a better battle uh results other than this yes okay this base is definitely a lazy farm target however i'm gonna demonstrate is using the hot riders and dragon attack you can see one of the air defense is exposed on the outside so that is my first target to get rid probably using one or two hot riders the rest i'll focus on the bottom left and and top left and bottom right okay so let's go for this one two and one two three four five with a little bit of healing spells 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
one two three four and one two three four with a healing spells over here and a bit of a uh, rage spells over here and one two three four ah oh, let's get rid of the air defense please yes 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 so two dragons off and off to the races with the reinforcement troops and there's one barbarian king over there uh, trying to destroy some of the stuff but barbarian king will not be able to get rid of my dragons so the dragons are slowly slowly absorbing the whole whole base hopefully getting the rest of the elixir which is a 204,000 uh, elixir on the right side ah the, the dragon is being destroyed by the wizard towers damn please destroy yes the wizard tower is down so now left with a hundred eighty six thousand elixir one more elixir collector to go i know this is a little bit waste of uh, elixir to build the dragons but if you encounter such base the air defense is weak you can actually use hot riders and dragon attack to destroy it and um very high chance you can actually destroy it uh, with 100 percent uh, destructions um and there's one more air defense at the bottom i didn't i didn't actually uh realize there is one there um so maybe i might not be able to get 100 percent, but i've already gotten all the resource so doesn't matter so i'm gonna fast forward this uh this battle so that you're not wait for the last part okay 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and 0 <laughs> and i gotten 253,000 gold and 340,000 elixir which is amazing it's one of the amazing attack however i believe the dark elixir i might lose a little bit because I've actually utilized 28 hot riders, which is a lot. Uh, I, I actually changed the uh, the language to um, another language in order to find such a village to attack. So basically, this is how you use the uh, hot riders and dragon attack. Uh, dragon is slightly high on the elixir, so do take note of the cost of elixir. So when you are trying to search for a base to attack, make sure you can cover the cost of elixir use and the cost uh, to you know exchange for more gold. So try to find a village that have a lot of gold to attack. Uh, for base defense, try to uh, defend your air defense as much as possible. And if your air defense are very weak, uh, like low in levels, uh, try to upgrade them as soon as possible. Right, so basically that's it for this Let's Play Clash of Clans episode 24. Right, so thank you very much for watching Simon's video. Have a nice day. See ya, bye-bye. Well, basically that's it for this video. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And check out the previous video and the app bounty, Ultimate Bounty Hunter giveaway event that give away uh, Xbox One and iPad Mini and lots of gift cards. And remember, the more apps you download from AppBounty.net, the higher the chance you will be able to win. And of course, the event will end at the 5th of March and announced at the 7th of March 2014. And basically, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. See ya. Bye-bye.